What's going on, collectives? It is your girl, Janice with A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in, collectives. Happy full moon. Remember, this moon is all about releasing. It, it, it's, it's, it holds a lot of releasing energy, all right? Sending out a lot of releasing energy. So Archangel Michael and Allegua, please protect me as I channel for the collectives. All right, study. All right, this is my beauty and brains card. All right, a lot of you guys are into your study right now, whether you studying yourself, whether you studying a business, whether you studying a new belief systems or a new practice. All right, but your, your mind is into expanding. Your mind is thirsty for information. All right, for a lot of you guys, you have rejected a lot of invitations when it goes to partying and outside because you thinking about a bigger picture here for a lot of you guys you have revamped and reinvented your business all right um a lot of you guys are researching and studying how to even own or start a business all right but your mind is in a more focused direction when it comes to what's ahead all right you are really studying all right you looking good i feel like there's a lot of changes going on when it comes to your social status all right i feel like you've created a lane for yourself because of the amount of work and attention to detail that you're doing right now when it comes to technology all right i feel like you are mastering technology right now you're a mastering your ability to connect and be in many places at once. Okay, so I'm seeing beauty and brains. All right, everything is aligned. You're connected and you're giving your time. Damn. All right, yeah, look, a release ritual. So for a lot of you guys, you are feeling more inspired. You are feeling more energetic. You are feeling more courageous. You are feeling more beautiful and sexy you're feeling more smart you're feeling the the need to act on your ideas more feeling more inspired to act on your ideas it's because you released you did a release ritual that cut the cord on every energy that was causing you some sort of delay When you, de when you do these things, all right, with the intention to release, just like the full moon. For Thank you, Spirit. So for a lot of you guys, you're working with the moon cycles, all right? You're studying how to work with the moon cycles and release to make way and room for new. You're understanding that the only way you are going to manifest what you've been asking for is if you finally release what is taking up too much room. So a lot of you guys have been studying. I'm getting a lot of occult knowledge. I'm getting a lot of spiritual practices. All right. For some of you guys, you are. For those of you guys that have a business and spiritual affairs. All right. This month and moving forward, your cells are going to heighten because of people starting to be aware of the spiritual warfare. Okay, you're making you're, you're 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 making sure that you are aligned and you're understanding what is going on cosmic cosmically because there's a lot of planets in retrograde and this blue full moon. All right, so there's a lot of release rituals again that you've done, but again, I'm getting if you are a spiritual practitioner, your your cells have been inclining. All right, because of people actually wanting help. People actually is aware of what's going on spiritually. Okay. For a lot of you guys that are not spiritual uh, practitioners, you guys have been studying rituals and ancestral work and things of that nature.
but it's all about releasing. A lot of you guys are releasing to focus more on your study, to focus more on your gifts and your talents and, and your skills. All right, create exactly, exactly. For a lot of you guys, you focusing on, on your skills. All right, you're focusing on what you are creating in this world. You focusing on your stability. You focusing on what you are contributing to life right now by your own unique things that you have within you. All right, for a lot of you guys, you was being held back to create what you really want to create because of relationships, because of people, because of just a lot of things in your life where you finally realize like, no, the only way, because you, you start to see like this is a spiritual thing, right? And just because you release one person, you'll meet another person with that same vibe and that person will remind you of the same person. That's that same entity, energy, um, energy and entity jumping in through different vessels attacking you, all right? every level but once you take the initiative and call up on your ancestors and to do your proper rituals the right way with the intentions to do the right thing all right for the right outcome that's gonna benefit all all right sometimes it's not a physical connection that we gotta sever all right it is a fucking spiritual and energetic tie that we got to cut. All right. I'm hearing soul tie. There was like a soul tie. That you had to release. All right. But you are a creator. You are a manifester. All right. You don't play about your work. Okay. You are a, a professional. All right. You are a professional creator. All right. I'm getting a content creator. All right, for some of you guys, you are a content creator. All right, you you create content. And when you create content, you got to be confident in yourself. You can't be having other energies around you that is projecting or fear, doubt. Okay? Uh, I'm seeing that. I'm honestly seeing a content creator. You might create content when it comes to rituals, releasing rituals. You might create content when it comes to releasing energies, releasing karmic energies. That's the content you create. Okay. I'm getting this content that you are creating is, 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 is blowing up. It is expanding. All right. Because you're helping the masses. You're influencing the energy of the moon and how to work with the moon cycles. All right. This content you're creating is, is it has you in your own lane. All right. It has you have a, your own unique niche. You have your own following. There's a certain industry that you're in right now. All right. Where it's blowing up because the content that you're creating, it's helping people release. Set boundaries. I'm also seeing a bonfire. Like you guys could have went on some sort of retreat. This is definitely a for a content creator. That's what I'm seeing. For some of you guys, um, this season you are going to create your own content. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna finally do it. All right, but this is a message I see for my content creators. All right, keep up the good work. All right, you are influencing the masses of how to heal, how to release. For a lot of you guys, you are getting clients asking you these questions. All right, expect a lot of incoming clients, new clients coming in. All right. When it comes to asking about this stuff, it's the content you created. That's exactly what it is. Your ideas is heightening. All right. When it comes to content. All right. You are starting to be more confident in the content you're putting out. You're no longer like second guessing yourself. All right. You're more inspired about the 
um, the feedback you've been getting about the content. All right. But this has something to do with content. All right. Attachment. All right. So exactly. So there are, a, I'm, I'm getting like feminine energy. All right. There are a lot of feminine energy. All right. This is the devil card. All right. So there's a lot of feminine energy. All right. That is attached or there are a lot of people. Fuck it. What, whether they're masculine or feminine that is um, attached to a lot of material things. All right, each of these things that the people are attached to, they feel as if it makes them a part of who they are. Okay, let me read. Um, so, you know, um, this is all about the earth element. We are, you know, heading out of Virgo season. So this is all about lust, materialism, obsession, addiction. All right, this card means you become so attached to what a specific relationship, job, or earthly possession says about you that you've forgotten who you really are. All right, do you truly love someone or something or are you attached to the prestige and instant gratification you get from that? All right, so I feel like the content, again, you create exposes the real from the fake <laughs> exposes that a person could look like they have all of this stuff all right but without those things they are nothing because they don't know who they are without those material attachments all right those attachments that chain um those clothes that attention that they get it makes them it makes them feel like that is who they are. So when someone is stripped, right, and has been released from all of those things that made them, then they are forced into figuring out who they really are and why they really came here. All right. This is the content you put out. You put out content that exposes people and their attachments. To the material world. Your content exposes. The. The things. That people need to release. To clear karma. And to get out of. Such a material mindset. Mindset. Alright. Yeah but that's what your content do. Alright. Your content sheds light. On what people are attached to. In this material world that is killing their growth and that is hindering their true self. Okay, that's what I see. All right, sleepless nights. All right, so somebody's watching your content. All right, and when I tell you watching it, I'm talking about they, they having sleepless nights watching your content because whoever's watching your content, all right, is resonating as this attaching energy or attachment energy. All right, they're resonating with whatever you're you're putting out there. All right, because it is true, whether they say it or not. All right. Somebody is watching your content. <laughs> you hear me? Day, night, hour, okay? Because it's exposing. Thank you, Spirit. It's not only exposing them. See, they were able to hide this to the world, all right? They were able to hide under this facade of clothes and and money and fame and reputation and clout chasing all right but until you you know you post content you are a content creator that's your job so once once you are posting content to make others aware 
of these fake energies and these karmic energies and these facades, all right, these people can no longer hide behind these false attachments. They can't no longer hide it because your content is being viewed to the masses. All right, your content is being viewed as healing energy to release these type of energies. All right, that is being exposed. All right, so yeah, this this somebody is watching the fuck. You hear me? Watching the fuck out of your content. You hear me? Because if they was trying to trick anybody into thinking that they were somebody bigger or more powerful or more responsible than what they really are, everything got exposed from the content that you create. All right. And it's making people more aware of what is hindering their growth. All right, so let's start clarifying. Spirit, tell me more about this study. Oh, five of cups in reverse. So you teach people also how to be fucking strong. All right. You teach people how to let go and be strong. That's what I see. You teach people how to not be in a sunken place when it comes to releasing. You teach people to how to have the courage to not be in this place. All right. Of sadness and grief. All right, that's what yeah, yeah, you're a master at that. That's what you're studying. And you, for some of you guys, you might be like a psychologist or a reader or or somebody that posts content that you're really invested and in, you know about. All right, but you're encouraging people, all right, to see past the the facade and the bull crap. All right, when it comes to materialism. Spirit, give me more about this five of cups in reverse. All right, look. Magician. All right, you teach people that they cannot manifest from a broken heart. You teach people how to let go of what they was manifesting and give it back to the universe and start over, manifest something new. Okay, that's what I see. Spirit, give me more on this release ritual. Look, nine of cups. And when people release, this is how they feel. Like they hit the jackpot. All right, the nine of cups symbolizes growth, expansion. It symbolizes your wishes coming true. It symbolizes your, you just being fulfilled in a state of bliss because of the actions you've been taking with yourself. Because of the time and patience and love that you've been providing to yourself. All right, because of the healthy boundaries that you've been creating. All right, when people burn it up, you hear me? It's burning up that energetic core. It is releasing you energetically. All right. So you could be happy. Nothing blocking you. All right. Everything lifted that was hindering you guys. Okay. This is great energy. All right. Doing your, your protection spells. Doing your releasing rituals. All right. Doing it for the right intentions. Using the moons for the right intentions for you and your emotions. No you know, this was, the, the, you You took, I'm, I'm getting an energy, I'm picking up an energy that took time to actually use this powerful releasing energy and release, really. Like, really finally release and put it into what they were scared of. 
All right. And this is the reward of how you feel after you did that. Okay. Ain't no reason to be sad. All right. You could be sad for a couple of hours. You could be sad for a couple of days. You could be sad for a couple of years, but don't want to allow it to interfere with your motherfucking dreams that you got coming in. You went from fucking five cups to nine. You went from throwing out five, but gaining a nine cups. That's filled. That's a lot. Okay. Spirit, give me more on this create. That's the content you created. Look, the Empress. Okay. You are a creator. You are the mother of creation. All right. You are leading people to create, to be masters of themselves, to be forgiving of themselves, to be as kind to themselves as they are to other people. The Empress is governed by the planet of love, Venus. All right. Venus is in retrograde right now. All right. So because you've achieved a level of success emotionally, Mentally, physically, and spiritually embodying all four queens, you're able to inspire others. All right. And you and what you create. What you are creating as a content creator is inspiring others because you're knowledgeable. Again, study. The Empress is knowledgeable because they went through a lot of shit. All right. They are masters at creating. They know how to create something out of nothing. And that is what you are creating. You are creating content to Teach people how to create. It's like a non-stop of creation energy coming from you. All right. So you doing what you do. You helping others create. You are the mother. All right. You showing what time and patience that go into fertility or whatever you trying to fertilize. All right. You are mother. You are the mother of creation. Literally. Literally. You are the mother of learning how to burn shit up and start new. You you had to be comfortable. You grown to be comfortable. I'm hearing growing pains. All right, growing pains. You you've been you've you've been put in a situation to force you to be comfortable with with certain shit because it was a part of your growth. But you giving off empress energy. All right, you giving off real from the fake. <laughs> you literally giving off real from the fake. Okay, literally, you not hiding behind no attachments. You are the motherfucking attachment. Literally, you are an empress. You are the content creator. You are the one showing people the real and the fake. You are showing people to be inspired about their unique gifts and stop worrying about what material things that they need. Fertility comes from you and not outside sources. So, yeah, you are the mother of creation. <laughs> okay, literally. Spirit, give me more on the attachments. Look, magician again. All right. They've been literally manipulating energy to look like they have more. All right. They literally been using spell work is looking like or dark magic to influence their material right because spell work the, the, the man downstairs that they govern the material world all right so this person or these people you you expose through your content that a natural creator creates from within happiness all right creates from healing okay and someone that is a false creator, all right, has to do spell work or or other things to manipulate their facade. It's all a game. It's, it's a lie. All right. So that's what you show. You show what's a true magician. All right. This person, these people manifesting from a broken heart. You can't. All right, you showing how to manifest, and that's from with you. You you can't manifest from creating on the outside. All right, on the outside to to show people how you looking on the outside. All right, it comes from within you. All right, Zeph, exactly. 
this person that's watching you having sleepless nights, all right, they know that there's a lot of endings, all right, to, to a lot of shit. It's actually opening up their eyes, believe it or not. It's opening up their eyes, all right? Whoever is seeing this has lifted the veil of true divine feminine energy and false. True divine masculine energy and false. The death card. All right. It's here to expose. It's here to lift the veil. It's here to show you what's true. For a lot of you guys, this person like wanted your energy gone. You hear me gone. All right. They were tired of your content. It's looking like they wanted you gone. All right. And the spell work they was doing was only keeping them up at night. Because you kept on creating content. <laughs> you hear me? You kept creating content because you're a fucking content creator. The fuck? <laughs> All right, so that's not half you guys. Literally, again, whatever you do, baby, you're creating content that's inspiring the masses. All right, on a grand scale. All right, you are able to teach and lead. All right, and rule because you went through the trials and tribulations to teach, lead, and rule. All right, you are a powerful manifester, and the way you manifest is through love. All right, that is the only way one can manifest through love. Okay, and love comes from within the nine of cups. Love comes from rejection. Love comes from lifting grief and doubt and and burdens on yourself and coming to self acceptance. That shit happens. All right. And that we still must love ourselves to fucking create. All right. You inspire people with your content to release. All right. You might be some sort of guru in like ritual work. All right. Also, that is heightening. All right. If you guys are some sort of spiritualist or spiritual priest or priestess. All right. Your cells are going to heighten this season. All right. So expect that. All right. You've exposed somebody that was putting up a facade when it comes to their lifestyle, all right, and spell work, all right, and this person is fully aware of what they weren't aware of before, all right, and they have been nonstop watching your content, having sleepless nights because of the endings that they are experiencing with this death card is actually resonating with what you are posting so it's like they're mad to watch it because it's they're resonating but they're so intrigued because it's enlightening all right so i love you guys and i hope that helps